New twist in the manhunt for Brian Laundry. His father has joined law enforcement in the search for his son, showing authorities trails where Brian might have gone. Victor Akendo is in Venice, Florida, with the latest. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, George. We are right outside the Carlton Reserve. This is where Chris Laundry spent hours with investigators yesterday, but according to his attorney, no discoveries were made. This, as we hear from people familiar with this sprawling alligator infested area, who tell us that if Brian Laundry has been hiding out here for three weeks now, surviving would be incredibly difficult. This morning, the hunt for Brian Laundry focused on the Carlton Reserve State Park. The FBI shutting down the nearly 25,000 acre park and allowing Brian Laundry's father, Chris, to join the search for his 23 year old son, the person of interest related to the murder of 22 year old Gabby Petito. They've dedicated a lot of resources, state of the art equipment, money, manpower, uh, assets like aviation support, night vision, thermal imaging, canine, the bloodhounds are extremely important, especially in a place like the Carlton Reserve. So there's a lot of dedicated resources they're throwing at this case, and, and they're not going to stop. I mean, they need to find this guy. The Laundry's attorney telling ABC News in a statement, Chris was asked to point out any favorite trails or spots that Brian may have used in the preserve. Although Chris and Roberta Laundry provided this information verbally three weeks ago, it is now thought that an on-site assistance may be better. I wasn't sure about what he looked like, and then I went and parked and pulled up the photographs of him. And I'm 99.99 percent .99 sure that was him. Several tips have been reported around the Appalachian Trail near the North Carolina Tennessee border, but it's unclear what led investigators back to the reserve in Florida. You keep things close to the vest. You don't want to release anything, especially with a case like this. Dixie Resnick is familiar with the swamp surrounding the reserve and says she's not certain that anyone could survive the alligator infested marshland unless they were a survivalist. Survival in a area such as the Carlton Preserve uh, would be very precarious. They would be someone with a very high level of knowledge regarding the native habitats, wild edibles, and survival in general. There's a lot of things that work against a person surviving in a situation like that. Earlier, Brian's sister, Cassie, revealed exclusively to ABC News that Brian is familiar with the reserve, but she doesn't think he's there. I don't think that he would have gone there to hide. I'd say Brian's a mediocre survivalist. He reads books about it and it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if he could last out there a very long time. And earlier this week, Cassie Laundry also telling us that she doesn't know if her parents were involved in helping Brian escape. And if they were, they should come clean. The Laundry family attorney saying that any speculation that they help Brian leave the family home or avoid arrest is just wrong. Guys. So many questions. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.